In this lecture, we will know about a very important topic that is about the datum features. Inside the datum features, we have datum coordinates, datum plane, datum point, datum axis, etc. So you can find this datum features. So go to this home tab and go to the feature module. Inside this you can see datum planes. So I click on this arrow, you can see datum plane, datum axis, datum coordinate system, datum point, etc. So in this lecture, we will know about datum planes. So right now we can see whenever we create any geometry inside the NX software, we see three default datum planes. You can see all these datum planes are highlighting here. This is the XY plane, then YZ plane, then XZ plane. These are all the three default datum planes. What if we want to create our custom datum planes? Sometimes when we work any complex geometries, we need to create the datum planes. To create those datum planes, we need to use this feature. Now to understand this, how to create the datum planes, I go to this option of datum plane and click on this. In here, we can see the type. So if I click here, we can see inferred. Inferred means it is taking by default values. So infer means it is a collection of all these options. And here we can see at distance, at angle. So all, these are all these specific types. So we are going to learn about them one by one. So let's say I want to create a datum plane at a distance. So I click on this distance. Now in the plane references, we need to select a reference plane. So I take the mouse here and let's say I want to create the offset plane with respect to this top plane. So this is XY plane. So take the mouse here and select this XY plane. And then we need to specify the distance of offset. So specify this value 50. And now we can see a new plane has been created at a distance of 50. Now we can see this plane is highlighted as a rectangle. So datum planes are two dimensional. Datum planes are infinite in size. So we can change this size by dragging these little points. But datum planes are already infinite in size. So it doesn't matter what size we are showing inside this graphic window. Here we can see number of planes. So whenever we want different number of planes, we can select this option. So let's say I select this 2, press enter. Now two datum planes will be created at a distance of 50. First datum plane is at a distance of 50. And also the distance between first and second plane is also 50. Here we can see plane orientation. So orientation is basically this arrow. This arrow is representing the perpendicular direction. So if you want to reverse this, click on this reverse. Also we can make a double click on this arrow and then click OK. So in this way we can create the offset datum planes. Now to understand some more options in the datum planes, I go to file and click on open. Inside your project file, go to the folder of datum planes. Here we need to open this file that is plane 1 and click OK. Now we have created a geometry here. Now inside this geometry, I want to in create different types of datum planes. So zoom in here and then go to datum plane. So in the previous example, we have created a datum plane at a distance from the existing plane. We can also select any planar object. So let's say I want to create the plane at a distance from this plane surface. So I have to select this plane surface. It is highlighting inside this purple color. Select this face and then specify the distance. So let's say number of plane I want 1. Specify a distance value. If I want this in the reverse negative direction, so click on this reverse. Okay, once again I click on reverse and click OK. Go to plane once again. So next option is at an angle. So inside this we need two references. 
first is we need a planar object second is an axis so let's say I zoom in here so hide this plane so go to this datum plane right click and hide it now okay this plane is selected as a reference we need to reset this so click on this reset option now go to at angle select this surface plane face now I want to create the plane at an angle with respect to this axis so select this axis now let's say I specify this angle 30 press enter now we can see this plane is at angle of 30 okay here one more option we can see is offset so click on this arrow this is offset so let's say I want to create also the offset of it so click on this arrow and specify some value so this value is let's say this is 10 and press enter so it will create a plane at an offset distance okay I click ok like this so I will select both data planes right click and hide it similarly the second plane just hide it so next option inside this plane is bisector so bisector means when something is bisecting between two existing references so let's say I select this outer face and then select the second face so let's say I select this face okay so offset I don't want it uncheck on this now a datum plane will be created at exactly the midpoint or the bisector point like this so I click on reset here next option is curve and point for this we can create a plane on a, any curve and a point so click on this and inside this subtype we can see we have curve and point 1.2.3 point, 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 point and curve so let's say I select this point 3 point we need 3 point as a reference for the datum plane so I select this first point I select the second point and I select this third point now a datum plane has been created let's dot it like this and click OK and this plane is passing through all these three points hide this datum plane next is two line when the plane is passing through two lines so let's say this is first line and this is the second line now the plane is passing through these two lines we can see here next inside this is tangent so we will cover this later and next we can see is point and direction so here we need to specify a uh, reference point and a direction vector so let's say here I will select a point here this is end point and specify vector direction so this is the vector direction it is taking I can also change this just hold down the shift key and click on this so this will be deselected and then select it once again now we can see this plane is passing through this point and normal to this vector next option is on the curve so here we need to select a curve so right now we don't have any curve so we need to create the curve for the sketch and then we need we can create the datum plane that is common between yc and zc plane okay so this will create the datum plane with respect to the coordinate system so specify to some distance let's say this value is 50 now this plane is perpendicular with respect to this yc and zc plane similarly we have xc and zc and xc and yc so all these planes are according to our requirements click cancel from here I go to file once again go to open and select this plane 2 and click OK select this plane right click and hide it so go to this datum plane datum plane here in this datum plane we can see one option that is called tangent to create the tangent we need a circular object now select this outer of face outer face and now we can see this plane is passing through this outer face in the subtype we have more option to control the orientation of this datum plane 
so let's say i select that is through point now this plane is tangent to this object now i want to create a plane that is passing through a point now to create a point what i do take the mouse onto this circle right click and click on this option of quadrant now all the four quadrant point of the circle will be highlighted so i select this point so take the mouse here like this and the point will automatically will be highlighted click on this click quadrant now we can see this datum plane is passing through this quadrant point and tangent to this circular plane click okay so in this way we can create different types of datum planes